We'll start by making the propeller shaft, which is built using two craft sticks glued together with one craft stick, so it looks like this. Now we're going to build the part of the zipline racer that hooks onto the zipline by gluing two craft sticks perpendicularly to the propeller shaft. Use two more sticks to support the first two. Make sure to leave about an inch of the propeller shaft exposed on either end. Now we're going to bend the paper clips by pinching the inside bend of the paper clip and pulling the other bend apart so it forms an L shape. Bend the other two paper clips all the way apart, but make sure that you don't do this too fast or else it might break in half. Now we're going to twist this paper clip about 90 degrees in one direction. It's time to attach the paper clips by using a combination of hot glue and tightly wrapped masking tape. This paper clip is going to be used to hook one end of the rubber band onto later. Repeat this process with the other two paper clips. These ones are going to be used to hook the zipline racer onto the zipline itself. And when you're finished, make sure that both of the hooks point in the same direction. Fit the propeller on with the hook on the underside of the shaft. Attach the two long rubber bands onto the propeller hook and stretch them back to the paper clip that we just attached. The final step is to attach a piece of paper with tape, but this looks kind of boring by itself. So I made some animal shaped stencils that students can use to trace onto colored paper and then cut out to help individualize their racers. But for now I'm just going to use this big blue rectangle. Okay, it's finished. With the propeller facing toward you, turn clockwise and look for a second set of coils that form on the rubber band. With the students, I refer to this as double coiling. When the zip line is completely double coiled, it should look something like this, and it's ready to go. Gently rest the paper clips on the zip line, hold only the propeller, and let go.